one of the things I would like us to discuss is what the limitations are of thinking about this in terms of personal problems. Clapton drinks too much. We need more individuals who are black in the record companies that will fix the problem. We don't want to personalize and individualize this. I think a hard thing, and it's wonderful there's so many people from the industry here tonight, is to think about it not in terms of the life or contributions of individuals only. Those things do matter, but they're not, I think, enough on their own. We need to be able to develop a different way of understanding this problem as a, as a process, as part of a system, as part of a structure. Someone in the film, it was Neil Fraser, said, mad professor, said so clearly, you know, one of the stories we need to face is the fact that many people in this country love, love um, black music, but they don't necessarily embrace its creators and makers with the same enthusiasm. And I think that that's half the story. The other half is to say that, um, how can I put it? There are out and out racist people. Let's not be, let's not be, um, you know, mealy mouth about that. But there are also um, people who are part of systems, part of structures, part of processes, part of um, decision making machinery, who may not as individuals be racist at all. And yet the outcome of the decisions that are made, the outcome of the machinery they contribute to, the outcome of those systems and structures can be um, to intensify inequality, to shut the gate down, to close the window, and to cut the economic and cut the economic cord. So we, we're dealing not just with individuals. We can't just think about this as a matter of individual conduct and individual attitude. We have to find ways of talking about the structure, talking about the system, talking about the process, and that's important.